You ready? 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 Alternating series! Oh boy. When you see an alternating series, what does that mean? You need to show a few things. That means that your series is all positive and then negative and then positive and then negative and then positive and then where are you going come here yeah all right so if it flip-flops from positive to negative then that's an alternating series and you need to show three things the three things you need to show is one that it's alternating two that it's decreasing well at least non-increasing and three the limit as a n as n goes to infinity goes to zero you will never use the divergence test to show that a series converges however if the limit goes to zero and these other two things are true then it does and here's why are you coming are you coming no i want you right there i want you right there what are we doing? We're looking at this. Uh-huh. So if we were at this series and we cranked out the first term, we would be here at a naught. Then what? The next one subtracts from that. So if you take a naught and subtract a1, this length is a1 long. Notice now how a1 is smaller than or equal to a naught. That part's important. That's the decreasing part. Okay, so now I'm here. What am I going to do? I took a naught, I subtracted a1. Now I'm going to add a2 to it. a2 just happens to be this long, and that's that right there. That's a naught minus a1 plus a2. Oh, okay, so now I'm here. And what do I do? I subtract subtract off a3. a3 just happens to be this long. So what's happening here? Well, a0 was there. Okay. And we're looking for our sum. So we subtracted off a1. Oh, and that's that spot right there. Yeah, that's a1 minus that's a0 minus a1. Then I subtract off a2, and that's this part right here. So I know that my sum is somewhere in between here. So then what do I do? I go and I, I, I add a2 to it, and I am in here, and then I subtract a3, and now I'm in here. So what I see is that my sum is kind of like filtering into some region in here. So I know my sum is going to exist if I have it alternating, I have the sequence decreasing, and I'm eventually adding zero, meaning that this width is eventually going to zero. So what do I have here? I have positive, then I subtract, then I add, then I subtract, then I add, then I subtract, then I add, then I subtract, then it's going to freaking converge. Oh, boy. So we have this idea about conditional convergence. Oh, hello. Did you want to see what was in the private collection, the playlist collection? Oh, all right. Now, there's a lot in this section. So, um, alternating yes, alternating yes, alternating yes. How can I tell if it's alternating? Alternating yes, alternating yes, alternating yes, alternating yes. Sometimes they... Sometimes they'll use trig functions or some other function where it's incognito whether or not it's alternating. But for these examples, it's pretty clear. Step one, show it's alternating. Step two, show that it's decreasing. Step three, show that the limit goes to zero. Now, there's this idea about convi conditional convergence. Yeah, what does that mean? That means it doesn't converge absolutely. In the last section, they kind of slipped it in. Yeah, they were like, um, absolute convergence is when the series of absolute values converges. That's a stronger convergence. There is a weaker convergence, this conditional convergence. The conditional convergence says that the series converges as long as it's alternating, right? With that condition, as long as it's alternating, with that condition, as long as it's alternating, with that condition, then it converges. But if you take the alternating part out, if, hey, 
there you go. If you take the alternating part out, does it still converge? If it doesn't converge when you take the alternating part out, then it is conditionally convergent. It converges upon the condition that it's alternating. Because you could see when we did the graphic, this is super graphic. <laughs> All right, so if the absolute value of the sequence diverges and the series converges, then it converges on the condition that it's alternating or some other kind of flip-flop on the sign thing. So, right, so on something like this, you are going to want to check whether or not the absolute value converge. Because if the absolute value converge, then, then, if the absolute value converge, then, the series converts. That's what the absolute value, that's what the absolute convergence in the last section was. All right, so if you take the alternating part, is this going to converge? Probably not. That's a divergent P series. If you take the alternating part off, um, does that converge? Probably not because that is um, a divergent P series. All right, this one, if you take the alternating part off, the divergence test is still going to say no, that doesn't converge because the limit has to go to zero. So when you're using the alternating series test on this, well, check the divergence test first, then you're not even using the alternating series test. But now, this one, oh, how are these two different? Well, that one's got that denominator, and we want to see if that denominator gets big. All right, if it does, then this may or may not converge, and we can see whether or not that converges or diverges absolutely or conditionally, that, that'll help you tell the difference in the convergence. Now, here, whoa, that one, does it alternate? Yes, that's the first thing you show. Does it decrease? You can show decreasing algebraically, which is probably what we do in that video. That's where we look at the an plus one term, and then we trot out some algebraic steps to find the an term to show that it's decreasing, that's all in the private collection, sure, the playlist collection. All of these examples are there. What do you want to do? You're here, you watch this example, so you click this example. The easiest thing to do after that is just play the playlist in order, and then you got the whole show. So here we go. Now, this one's alternating? Yes. This one decreases? Sure. Um, well, you're going to have to show it and that video will show it. It either shows it algebraically or it uses calculus. Now, um, you know, derivative, less than zero, decreasing, and you're only worried about the tail. Oh, yeah, I tell you, all of this serious stuff is all about that tail. So what does this one entail? This video is actually really hard to watch because this one is really hard to show decreasing. But if you could, and if the limit goes to zero, well, this one you probably don't even want to use the alternating series test. Maybe you want to use something like um, the limit comparison test, which was like last video. So watch this one, hit that playlist, Watch in an order, and you'll be good on alternating series. Alternating series. Alternating series. Alternating series. Did I get the point across that they flip-flop on signs?